how to use bamboo hr hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use bamboo hr so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here i'm on their website called bamboohr.com so over here what we're going to do is we're just simply going to go ahead and quickly sign up now there is a free option over here try it for free so let's go ahead and click on try it for free now over here what you're going to do is just simply enter in your first name your last name your work email and your phone number and then just simply click on the next step so i'm just simply going to go ahead and log in and i'll catch you guys in a second and then just step number two is to answer in your company name the number of employees that work at the company and the country of where it's located and then just simply click on one more then you just enter in the password there you go I have generated my password and then just simply click on generate your password then just simply wait for a couple of minutes for it to set up and you are good to go and you are good to go now you just simply click on open your account and it's going to take you over to the dashboard or the login page where you just simply have to log in and then just simply log in and you are good to go so over here this is how it's going to look like right so let me just get rid of that so here it is so over here you will have all of your options you're going to have your employees you're going to have what's happening in your company and this is all just like you know um, a pre-data this is like a demo data that they've already given us to showcase how it's going to look like right so over here you're going to have what's happening in your company or you know how many employees are on a lunch break or where are your employees you know you have your requested time offs over here employees who are out who are celebrations you know who are working you have your company name your company benefits covid reliefs and all of that you have your main options over here you will have your headcount reports over here so as you can see january at the start of june you had 43 but now and at june you have like 88 so as you can see it's our company is growing pretty well and over here we have our training as well we give trainings as well you can go ahead and edit that out and then you have your benefits as well so you can add that as well so as you can see it's pretty amazing and uh, over here you this is going to be your home and then over here in people over here at the top you have a bunch of different options and over here in people you can add new employees so for example if i wanted to add new employee you can go ahead and do that or if i wanted to get rid of an employee i'll just have to click on their name over here then i can go ahead within their employment records over here and i can and i just simply click over here onto the settings and i just simply click on delete employee and over here i just simply have to enter in delete and then just simply delete this employee and boom that employee is gone and we are good to go so that's how you delete an employee and if you want to add an employee just simply click on this button on new employee and over here you just enter in the employee number their first name their middle name the national name preferred name as well birthday gender and all of that so let's go ahead and input employee number 96 right and first name is going to be jane okay this employee number is already being used so i'll just put 111 is that also being used no so then we'll just enter in the name her middle name is doe and last name is going to be dawson and preferred name is going to be jane you can input anything they want and then birthday over here you can go ahead and click on the calendar go on to the year let's say 1990 and she was born in 2nd of june and gender is female and marital status is married common law domestic partnership or whatever so we'll just put married over here you have to input the ssn number if they have one if they provide one for me i'll just input a random number and then you input their address over here i'll just say street number one west boulevard street street number one west boulevard i'll just put country is going to be city is going to be new york state is going to be ny zip code is nine two one one zero i don't know the zip code i'm just putting in whatever i think and then you enter in the company and then the compensation all right so twice a month all right pay type is going to be salary hourly or commission based we're going to put hourly and pay rate is going to be let's say um $20 per hour ethnicity is going to be over here so we have african 
American, American Indian or Alaskan, two more races, Hispanic or Latino, I'll just put white or whatever you want, maybe Asian. And then we put in their work phone number, their mobile phone number, work email and job hire date as well. And she was hired in the first of this month. Employment status is full time and job information is over here is going to be, let's say, an accountant responds and over here reports to Cameron and Hill or we'll just put Adam Hulse. You can add your, you know, boss or whatever. And the department is going to be in finance and the division is going to be in the North American one. Location is in Linden, Utah. And then we just simply click on save. So a bunch of different options over here. I had to put a lot of, you know, information over here, but I think that's good. I think that works. So over here, as you can see, we have a new employee. So that's how you add different employees. And over here on the left side at the top as well, we have hiring over here. We can add different new peoples for hiring. We can add, you know, job applications. We will have candidates are going to be over here. We have talent pools over here, finance, marketing, and all of that. And then we have our reports. Over here, we will see all of the reports on our company, of our company as well. So we have our standard reports, recent benefits, data review, employees, info, headcount, and turnover, hiring, payroll, performance and culture, time off, and all of that. Then you have your my reports, shared with me, manage reports, assigned documents, and all of that. You know, signed documents, uh, pretty much. And then you have your files over here. So all of your files are going to be imported over here. You don't have to worry about that. So you don't have to worry about that. Everything's going to be over here. So pretty simple, nothing too crazy. And it's pretty simple as well. And over here on the left side at the corner, you will have your inbox. And within your inbox, you will have all of your messages, your outboarding, your signatures, your job info, your employment status, asset request, time off request and send request and all of that. And everything is going to be over here. And over here on the left side, this is basically your option over here. You have vacation. You have 103 hours of vacation available. So that's like, you know, 48 hour schedule. So you have to give in that notice and you have your 48 hour sick leave as well. You have bereavement, bereavement over here, COVID related absences over here, company slash in lieu time and FMLA, all of that. So it's, everything is pretty simple. It's a pretty professional software, I would have to say. And over here, you can add your benefits as well. And over here, you will have all of your benefits. You will can remove benefits or, you know, you can add more benefits as well. You will, And over here in my info, you will have personal job, time off, document, training assets and all of that. Right. So over here, you can see you have a bunch of different uh, benefits as well. If you wanted to, like, go ahead and add that, I believe if you wanted to add a benefit. You just simply have to choose the option you want. So as you can see, we have uh, some of these benefits available. Then we don't have the dependencies over here. You can add dependent over here. So these are the people that are dependent of these uh, benefits, I believe. And we are good to go. So as you can see, pretty simple. And then over here, we also have emergencies. I want to check that out as well. So over here, emergency contact. Over here, you can set out your emergency contact as well. And then you have your onboarding options over here. All of your settings are going to be over here and many, many more. So as you can see, it's a pretty amazing software, very detailed and very simple to use, if I do have to say so. And it's pretty amazing. So pretty much that's it. That's how you use it. That's it's how you use uh, Bamboo HR. So having said that, that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections and I'll be sure to get back to them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye.